Obviously, there's this huge demonstration happening globally. There's lots of students demonstrating here in the UK today. How do you feel about the fact that this whole movement has essentially been started by your actions last year? It feels incredible that one person can do this and then tens of thousands of children from all around the world are doing the same thing. And it's also incredible that it has spread so far and so fast. So when did you feel your passion and your concerns over climate change? When did they sort of, when did they start to make you think, I have to do something about this? How did it begin for you? The first time I heard about climate change uh, was when I was maybe eight or nine years old. It was in school when my teachers told me about oh, there's something called climate change and it's caused by humans. And, uh, and sh they showed us films and pictures and, and I, just, I just thought it was very worrying. I was very scared of it. And I, was, I thought that it was very strange that there was such an existential threat that would threaten our very existence and our civilization and yet that wasn't our first priority and we wasn't talking about it that much and so I I became interested in it and I started reading about it like books and movies and articles and and the more I read about it the more I understood and uh, once you fully understand the meaning of the climate crisis you can't un-understand it then you have to do something about it and you did. You stopped going to school uh, for a period. And now I understand that you, you don't go to school um, on Fridays until Sweden makes some changes and signs up to the Paris Agreement, I think, on, on various things that you want to see change. Um, what does your school think about this? You've obviously picked up some education because you're talking about existentialism. You're clearly a well-read uh, and clever girl. What does your school think about your actions and your family? Um, when I first told my, my parents, they didn't think it was such a good idea. They weren't very fond of it. They said, isn't there anything else you can do? And I said, no, I'm going to do this. Um, in my school, they, they support what I'm doing, but not that I'm not in school. What's your argument as to why it's important that the students do this on a day when they should be in class? Because as you've just pointed out, your school are helping you to catch up. But when it's on the scale of tens of thousands of students walking out, that's very onerous on the education system to pick up those pieces. Yes, I, I definitely understand that it's hard for some people to, to strike from school. But um, I think that, I say it all the time, but why should we be studying for a future that soon may not exist anymore and when no one is doing anything to save that future? Now, and also, if we do this, this is like slightly breaking the law, and then it will have a huge impact. People will see it and they will think that this is important and we care about this. I understand that your, your mum and dad weren't sure initially, but now you've really got them involved. They're supportive of you. They've taken up some of your other feelings that support... Um, your concerns over the environment, they've become vegans. Uh, your mum, I think, was a singer and took part in the Eurovision contest and she now doesn't go on tour anymore because she doesn't want to fly. So you certainly are having a lot of power at home. Yes, I, uh, I made my parents think, change their minds. Uh, I, I kept going on talking about this and showing them articles and films and books and and they didn't listen at first but once once I did it like all the time kept on going they they understood well clearly they have understood very clearly uh, Greta you are an extraordinary young lady thank you very much for joining us uh, this morning not everyone will agree with your actions but no one can argue that they haven't had a huge impact and I'd imagine that plenty of people were thinking certainly within the world of climate change and beyond that they hope they continue to have that sort of impact because something certainly needs to be done uh, Greta Thunberg thank you very much for joining us this morning